Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on congruence and similarity. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with this and see how you go. Congruent figures. To understand the concept of congruent figures, we will restrict our conversation to plain figures only at this stage. Congruent figures are exactly the same in all respects. Congruent figures have the same shape and size. They are an exact replica of each other. Some examples. The two rectangles are congruent figures. They are the same size and the same shape. The same can be said for the two triangles. Similar figures. Similar figures have exactly the same shape but not necessarily the same size. The two circles are similar figures. They are the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. The same can be said for the two squares. Similar triangles. Questions relating to similar triangles are very popular in mathematics. Given that the above two triangles are similar, we have, now this is most important, the corresponding angles are equal. That is, angle A equals angle D. That is, this angle here equals that angle there. Angle B equals angle E. So this angle here equals that angle there. And angle C equals angle F. That angle equals that angle. That's what we are given. The corresponding sides are in the same proportion. Now we have to think carefully about this. Now let's see what this means. Firstly, corresponding sides. That means the two sides that are in the same position on each of the triangles are in the same proportion. And what that means is this. For example, AB over BC, which is here, AB over BC, so we've taken the height of that triangle and the base, so we do the same for this triangle. The height of the triangle and the base. DE over EF. So those two fractions are exactly the same. That is, they have the same value. They're similar. So that's what it means when we say that the corresponding sides are in the same proportion that when you simplify both of these fractions to the lowest form, they are the same. They have the same value. Let's look at some other sides. AB over, a, over AC, that is, this height over this side here. Now on the other triangle, we have this height over this side here. So in other words, AB over AC, which is this height over that side there, so that fraction, has the same value as this height over that side there. And that's what this says. So when we work those two fractions out, they have the same value. Finally, AC over BC equals DF over EF. So, 
AC, that is the slope side, over the base equals this sloped side over the base. And those two fractions have the same value. Now here is a typical question on similarity to do with these two triangles. We're given that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. That means they are both the same shape. It also means that the three angles are equal. Angle A equals angle D, angle B equals angle E, and angle C equals angle F. That's what it means by them being similar. We have to find the value of Y. That's what we have to find. Now, all we do, we use exactly the same process as we saw on the previous slide. Let's have a look and see how this works. We'll start with this small triangle here. 24 over 18. See here? 24 over 18. Now we take the same two sides in this triangle. That gives us y over 27, because they're the corresponding sides. See, the 24 and the 18 correspond with the y and the 27. And that's why we have those two fractions, and we can write the equal sign, because the two fractions have the same ratio, because the sides are corresponding, because the triangles are similar. Now we use this, the special trick of cross multiplying that we saw in earlier videos. So 18 times y equals 24 times 27. That's the cross multiplying. We simplified 24 times 27 to give us 648. So 18y equals 648. We divide both sides by 18. So y equals 648 divided by 18. So y equals 36 centimetres. So because those two triangles are similar, y is 36 centimetres. Now here is a quick quiz to help you with your understanding. Please check through the video at any time to help you. What is the meaning of the following? Conflict resolution. You think about that carefully and I think you might understand it. Here are the answers to the quick quiz, and please check through the video if you need help. Do that at any time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide, and you will receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.